Hello and welcome to our library tutorial video on how to download and use our new library app. First, start. go to your app store. It could be the Apple App Store for Apple devices or the Google Play Store for Android devices. And in the search bar in your app store, you're going to search for the UCLS PA to go. Looking for the one that looks just like this icon, which is our library system icon. We're going to tap get or install, and we're going to download the app. Once it's done downloading, tap open. And the library app is going to load up here. And the first thing you want to do when you load into your library app is to tap the three line button on the right hand side of the screen and then tap sign in. So we're gonna sign into your library card account. So go ahead and type in your full library card number without spaces. And then your library pin number is by default set to be the last six digits of your library card number or whatever the password pin is set to in the future if you changed it from the default. Once you're done typing in that information, tap login. And now if you go ahead and tap that three line button again, it shows welcome followed by your name. Our case here is Dewey. And now it shows you also the options of checkout, hold, find, reading tracker, and linked accounts. So for this information, this allows you to manage your checkouts, your holds you are waiting for in the library, finds you may owe to pay, and also reading tracker, which allows you to read and also keep track of the time that you spent reading, if you like to time yourself. To go back to the main screen, we're gonna hit the house button at the top right of the screen. Next thing you wanna look at is the search bar, where you can search for author, title, or keyword to search our library catalog. So I'm gonna to choose to do Riley Sager. And then you can either hit the magnifying glass or return on your device keyboard. And it shows you some books here to search for. If I want to place a book on hold, I just have to tap on the book cover and then place hold. Choose my pickup location of one of the three locations in our library system. And then hit place hold. And it says the hold has been placed. Now, what if you want to cancel that hold later and you don't want to read that book, but instead buy a different book, you can go back into your library account by tapping the three lines, going to holds, and then tap on the book, and then tap cancel hold. And confirm it with yes, and the hold is now canceled. Below the search bar that we just covered, there's the My Barcode button. When you tap that button, your screen gets your max brightness because this function allows you to bring your library card through your phone to the library to use to check out books. So once you're ready to check out books at our, at our circulation desk, you may bring up your phone or device, show this barcode to the library staff, and they will scan the barcode on your device and you're ready to check out your books. Once you're done, tap the X button at the bottom, bottom right of the screen, and it will go away and sit back to your normal brightness preferences. Below my barcode button, we have the new book carousel, which allows you to browse all the new books we have added to our collection. If you wanna read more about a book, you can tap on a book, read its book description, decide to place a hold on it or not, and you can always go back and find other books 
If you don't prefer this view, you can also tap more and you can easily scroll through the carousel of new books as well. Below the book carousel, we have the My Account button, which does the exact same thing as the three line button. It'll open up the side menu, which allows you to go once again, see your checkouts, holds, finds, your lists, your reading tracker, and linked accounts. Tapping the three button line button here to close that menu. Next button we're gonna cover is the location and hours. Now when you're prompt with down with um, using the location and hours, you can also use your current location with the app. If you don't wanna do that, it's okay. It'll still function correctly. I'm going to tap Don't Allow for now. And right now it shows you all three libraries are currently open. If a library is closed when you're using the app, it'll be marked closed below the library name. To find out what the hours are for a library or where they're located, if you want to get directions to the library, tap on a library name and you'll see a beautiful picture of their library followed by their opening hours location, and their contact information. You can even tap get directions to have it sent right to your uh, map app on your phone to get turn-by-turn -turn directions to that library location. Tapping the house button at the top right of the screen, we're gonna go back to the main screen twice. And next we're gonna select the program and event button. This takes us directly to our library calendar where you can browse all the wonderful library activities and events that we have to offer. If you want to sign up for a library event, you may tap on an event and you can choose to sign up for it if you want to. Next, going back to the main screen, we're gonna to go to the ebook and e-audio selection. And this is where you can actually be linked to eBranch to go or Libby from Overdrive and also Hoopla, as long as you reside and live in Union County, you may have access to these. And you can tap on each one of those to access that information and to borrow free eBooks and e audio books through Libby or eBranch to go. And from Hoopla, you may borrow TV episodes, movies, music, binge passes, audiobooks, comic books, and many other things through Hoopla. Going back to the main menu again, under follow us, you can access our social media pages just by tapping on the library and then selecting which social media page you want to visit. Going back, we also have an online resource section which includes mailbox for children from pre-kindergarten up to grade six. You can get some nice uh, worksheets and activities to use through there. Learning Express to learn different certification tests and practice them. We have Power Library for Adults, Power Library for Teens, and Power Library for Kids that provide many different databases for research for educational purposes or for personal pur pur purposes. Going back to the main screen, we also have our library card button. This allows us to go straight to our library website where we offer how to get library cards if you or your loved one wants to get a library card right now. Or you can also renew your library cards just from this screen here. Tapping done and going back here. The final selection we have in the list here is a scan ISBN barcode. This allows you to scan barcodes on books you may be seeing in a bookstore or at a friend's house and you're not sure if the library has it. You can tap on scan ISBN number and it'll say if they have the camera access to the camera, we're going to say OK. And then we can scan the book. And then it says this one is now in our library collection. I can tap on it and instantly place that book on hold if I want it. For more information about our library tutorial videos, 
please visit our library website at unioncountylibraries.org forward slash tutorials.